Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. For this video, I'm going to open up another monthly subscription from the Dollar Bead Box. And in case you're interested in this subscription, I will have a link for it down there below the video in the description bar. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. And by the way, there are two subscriptions here. I have the Dollar Bead Bag and Box. They're separate. But because I'm subscribed to both, I received both of them. So here's the Dollar Bead Bag inside the box. And let's see... Ooh, I love that purple. That is gorgeous. Look at that. There's a there's a druck there. Isn't that weird? Sometimes when I get check fi fire polish beads, um, one of the beads will be a druck, or it will be half faceted, and the other half is not faceted. Let's see if the whole thing is faceted. Nope, <laughs> it's a druck. So funny. Sometimes it will be half round and half faceted. It's a bummer though if I need the entire strand that one of them is a drug. Wow, that one's really pretty. That's pearl. Is it painted? How is that? I think so. I want to say it's painted like a pearl. These are gorgeous. I love those. Okay, let's look at the list. Again, like I always do. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see that one. Three millimeter. And this one's three. And this is the four. So, first we have dark cayenne or cyan. I think someone told me that it was pronounced cyan. And then there is pearlized white and then metallic Mardi Gras green. That's probably this one. And then vintage rose. So, this one must be the dark cyan. Which, I think I got this last month, but in a four millimeter. It's a very pretty color. And then this one here is the pearlized white. This is so gorgeous. I love this strand. I love both of these here together. Those are pretty. And then this one's called Metallic Mardi Gras Green. And it doesn't look green to me. It looks turquoise. It's gorgeous. And this bead is painted. You could tell that by the hole. I could see it. So it's like a pearl what it's like and this is vintage rose gold luster I think I got this one last month in the four millimeter it's pretty and now for the four millimeter we have matte royal purple which I'm assuming is this one it's the only purple one very cool love this color it's like velvet it's like a velvety purple it's gorgeous and then there is matte medium copper this one Yep. This is cool. This one's also painted. You can tell by the hole. See the paint there? So they're kind of like pearls. And then there is emerald green. Which is this one. Very pretty. I, I like this color for Christmas trees. And then there is matte cyan. I don't remember if I got this one last month or not in a 3mm. Alright, these are all the check fire polish beads from the dollar bead bag. And now I'm going to go to the box. What's in the box? November 2019. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh my gosh. Okay, there's some epic stuff in here. I can already tell. Alright, I'm going to start with the strands because that's what's at the top of the list. And I'm really excited about these. Look at that color, that's incredible. I got these last month in a hematite color, but I didn't use them because I ended up making a ring with a two-hole coin bead. Alright, those are all bags. Okay, number one, six millimeter check glass two-hole square. These. Beige opal or matte beige opal. Mine is beige opal, it's not matte. So these are uh, check meats. 
I love these beads. I actually designed a bracelet and I wanted to do a video on it and sometimes I come up with designs but I have other things get in the way so I'll just like write notes down of what I was doing at that time and I'll just put that to the side but right now since I'm uploading a video like every day I'm going through a lot of stuff that I've kind of abandoned and I'm working on it for videos so um, I might do a video on that really cool checkmate bracelet that I designed and haven't filmed yet so anyways this is a cool strand I like the color of it I've been collecting beige beads more often this one's actually a little bit paler but um, I will take you guys later on in one of my videos through my bead stash more and show you my beige colored beads, check beads. They're just a little bit darker than this chain right here. Okay, moving on. 9 by 14 millimeter check glass leaf. That's these. I love check leaves and flowers. And I actually have storage boxes just for my check leaf and flower beads because I love them so much. And you know, last time I got a strand like this, it was strung. Well, of course it was strung because it was a strand. But um, the beads were pretty, okay? They were nice. But when I cut them off of the string, wow, they were gorgeous. The strand was hiding how beautiful they were. Like, these here, I could tell that they have a lot of pattern going on with them. I think they're transparent, but they have like streaks of green going through them. They're gorgeous. And I have to tell you... Um, going to the dollar bead box to buy this will be a dollar and there's this other website that I like to go and shop for check beads at Lima beads and whenever I go there their stuff is pretty pricey I have to say but I only order from them when I can get a sale but um a strand like this at Lima beads is probably gonna be six dollars it's really expensive and I'm thinking there's like what 25 pieces yeah, so this here for a dollar is a killer deal at the dollar bead box. Next thing is 5mm check fire polish, white opal or antique gold finish. What is it? This 5mm white opal or antique gold finish. It just says check fire polish. I guess it's this. Yeah. This is really cool. It is, this is the antique gold finish one. Oh, it says white opal with, I thought it said and, I don't know why I thought that. But it actually kind of has this pink color to me. It's a really cool strand, I'm waiting for my camera to focus. It's a really pretty bead. I don't have a bead like this in my stash, this is new. Pretty fancy. Next thing is 4 by 6 millimeter check glass drop gold acid wash. Wow, these would be epic in my beaded flowers. Man, they're so bright. You know what? It seems like this acid wash etch glass, whatever you want to call it, it seems like it's holding these finishes much better than just the shiny glass beads, you know? because the finish can attach to it better. Next thing is 8mm Chet Glass Melon. This is a strand I really wanted to look at. Pink and silver specks. This is so cool. Man, these melon beads are really popular. You know what I would like to do with these melon beads? I would like to get some big ones. I don't know how big this goes up in size. But because of how they have these little crevices right here on the sides I would like to take seed beads and have the seed beads sit in the crevices that would look cool and there's what one two three four five six there's six crevices going around but yeah that would be cool if the bead was pretty big I did seed beads on it that's a pretty strand next thing is four millimeter resin miracle bead Chartreuse with gold luster. These are awesome. Wow. They're so cool. Now these miracle beads, I've seen them come in plastic and in glass. These ones here I think are plastic because they're really light. They're so cool. And then the next thing is 3mm check glass pearl. This one. Matte satin white. 40 pieces. Yep. 
very pretty and then the six millimeter check glass pearl matte satin white it's awesome that I'm getting these uh, check pearl beads in this bead subscription because where I live at I can't find check pearls I have to order them online I don't have an actual bead store in my area I only have craft stores so there's a lot of stuff that I can't buy locally. I have to buy most of my stuff online, especially fancy stuff like this. The last thing is 1 by 2 millimeter Chinese crystal rondelle silver, 120 pieces. And I'm really loving these rondelles. They keep putting these out in, these, in this subscription. And um, this rondelle is so tiny. It's like the same size as a 10 maybe even an 11 C bead. And this rondelle can be used in place of those beads. And actually, I find that rondelles are so similar to sea beads because of their shape that I can use a 3 by 4 millimeter rondelle in place of 60 sea beads and vice versa for a lot of my projects. Alright, these are all the strong things and now we're going to the bags. Oh my gosh, look at those. I love those. Okay, 7 by 16 millimeter Check glass two hole crescent copper vitrol. Oh, this is the one that I saw first. I really like this one. Let's see. So this is curved as you can see. This side's all copper and then oh this one's reversed. Look at that. So I have five of them that have the copper on this side, and this one has it on this side. Kind of funny, huh? So pretty. I love this color. I have um, check petal beads that are kind of like this. They're really cool. Next thing is 18 millimeter check glass ammonite. Ooh, that's these. These beads right here, I have made into rings. I have bezeled the bead into a ring, and I've also bezeled the bead and made it into necklaces. I have a tutorial with this style of bead. It's a pretty cool bead. The hole is right there. I think the ones that I used though were green and blue in my tutorial. But yeah, you could totally make these into rings. Maybe what I'll do, if I can remember, is go find the tutorial that I did with these and put it down there below the video. I use nibbets and I think crescent beads to bezel the beads. If you don't see the tutorial down below, that's because I forgot about it. Because I have so much that I have to do, it's hard to remember sometimes. Next thing is 5mm Daisy Spacer. Oh my gosh. Is it that bead right there? That is the prettiest metal flower bead. What's that one? No? Does it say the color? Antique Copper. It's this one. These right here. These are so tiny. And I'm happy it's copper because I have a ton of silver metal beads. And now i am collected a ton of antique brass, but I don't have much copper. Those are pretty. And um, there's ten in this bag. Now I'm looking for 6 by 12 millimeter Chinese drop. This one. Yep. Turquoise Rainbow Iris. Ooh, these are gorgeous. Four of them. Which is not enough to make a flower. But, I can use these in earrings. Or use them as dangles. I can also string them. That's very pretty. I like wire wrapping these. I love turquoise and copper together. And bronze really gorgeous. Next thing is 17 through 18 millimeter magnesite coin. Turquoise. 
two pieces. These right here. And I think these can be made into rings. I think so. Actually, this is a 17 by 18 millimeter bead. The ammonite is 18 millimeter. So I'm wondering if you can take the same tutorial where I made this into a ring and make this into a ring. I think you could. Because it's pretty much the same size bead. This one here is more um, domed and this one's more flat. But I think it will still work. They're pretty. Alright. Chinese glass, 12 millimeter Chinese glass laser etched barrel. This one, Matt Peacock. This is so cool. Every month now, for like the past few months, they've been giving these laser etched beads out, and they're so darn cool. The detail is absolutely incredible. It is so perfect on the bead. Really pretty. I love how big the hole is. I could put this onto leather if I wanted to. Or even a chain. Like, I have a necklace that I'm wearing right now. My chain is so tiny that it would actually pass through that bead. Next thing is... 6mm Swarovski Crystal Cube. This one? Crystal Cow. Two pieces. Yep. The uh, Swarovski is always... It has a black label and it has Swarovski in the back. Wow, that is super sparkly. It really is amazing how sparkly Swarovski beads are compared to just regular glass. They're super clear. The facets are perfect. The holes are perfect. Rounded holes. These will not, these will not cut your thread. I think these would be cute made into a ring. Or earrings, because there's a pair of them. But I could put both of these into a ring if I wanted to. And I think I would probably do my chic beaded ring. I already have a tutorial using beads like this, but the ones I used were round. I think I also use bicones, but I think these, these would definitely work in that chic beaded ring tutorial. You just need a middle bead, which can be like any 8mm bead you want. Next thing is 5mm Chet Glass Hexagon Full Coat Copper. That's these. I got these last month. And I told you guys that they look like um, nuts and they reminded me of the hurricane because I had put up hurricane shutters. Last month they were Labrador. Are they glass? They're so cool. I think they're glass. They look like nuts. Ten millimeter Chinese glass laser etched round. This one, peacock, two pieces. So I think in a previous box I got the same bead, but it wasn't the peacock color, it was blue. Peacock one is the bomb. Look at that. A rainbow. I love the rainbow colors. And I have three left. 5 by 7 millimeter Chinese star cut crystal full coat silver. That's these six pieces. This is the most unusual bead. It's really weird. I would say that this is definitely a challenging bead to work with. Like, I don't know how I would use it in weaving because of its shape. So I think it would have to be in a stringing project, but it is just the weirdest shape. Isn't that weird looking? Look at that shape. It's really strange. Next thing is 7 by 6 millimeter pewter bale. There's two of them. That's awesome. I use these a lot when I am making uh, bead weaved pendants. Oh, this is thick. Look how thick that is. 
It's very cute. Can't tell if it's Chinese writing on there or not. I want to say yeah. They have weight to them, by the way. And then the next thing, the last thing, and something I'm really loving is these. This is 9mm pewter flower silver plated four pieces. These are so stinking cute. Oh, I love these so much. These are so pretty. This is like the prettiest metal flower bead I've ever. I love these. They're heavy too. I can feel the weight on them. Yeah, they're heavy. Love those. Okay, this is everything. There's a lot of goodies here. I'm excited to play with this and see what I can come up with for you guys. Remember, I always do tutorials. The last dollar bead box tutorial I did was that ring that I did with a two-hole coin bead. That one was. late because I had a lot of stuff going on but um this one here will be quicker for me to do a video on because I don't have other um, subscriptions in my way right now so I'm really looking forward to playing with this one and seeing what I can come up with this is it I hope you guys enjoyed this video remember I will be leaving a link for the dollar bead box subscription down there below the video in the description bar please like this video leave me a comment subscribe if you want to see more of my videos make sure you click the bell button to get notified when I upload new videos and check me out on all my social media accounts I'm on Facebook Instagram Pinterest and Twitter thanks for watching